Hey guys, Arburnt85 here, and it's time for another video battle report. Today we're doing a big special duel. It's a uh, four uh, two on two, four people playing. We each have 1,250 point list, and uh, we're playing on a full four by eight table. So this is my first game in what, like 100 years? Mm, two months. Two months. So uh, actually, I'm bringing back the Raven Guard. I'm running a fluffy Raven Guard list. Lots of jump packs, Shrike. You know, and uh, it's going to be a great day. So let's start off here with Scott, and we'll figure out what everybody's playing. Scott, what are you playing, bud? I'm playing Farside Enclave Tau, nothing but battle suits. I've got four broadsides, four crisis suits, a riptide, long strike, and a hammerhead, and some drone support. <laughs> All right, and uh, Logan, what are you playing, bud? I'm playing the Space Wolves. I Get have. Ball. <laughs> Get him, good boy. Get him, good boy. <laughs> I got uh, the three Thunderwolf Lords all decked out. Um, ben Region Wolves, the full squad of 15. And then I fill my two troop requirements with squads of eight. Eight what? Eight Grey Hunters. I mean, they're, they're basic. Fifty Shades of Grey Hunters. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to run up and say sit. Sit. <laughs> Hanko, what you got, bud? Well, uh, since you decided to bring the, the fluffy list, I brought the fluffy Imperial Fist lift, list with uh, Lysander's Bolter Drill. And I got just tons of uh, troops with bolters, drop pods, and a couple whirlwinds, and some scouts. Uh, real close to a list that I was reading about in the Sentinels of Terror, minus the Centurions because they're not painted up. We, uh, we did make sure we tried to get every model painted today for the battle report, like we told you all before in the past, trying to make some quality battle reports. So, um, Let's see how it goes. Uh, what else you got? Well, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to um, take a look at the armies here in just a second so you can see each one before we deploy them out. Uh, our mission today is going to be Big Guns Never Tire and the Relic. We're also playing the Hammer and Anvil style deployment, which is really going to favor heavily the Tau. Yes. Um, but you have two really fast armies and two, you know, in the Tau and the... Um, Drop pods. In the Imperial Fist, you have two real hard-hitting armies. So a lot of diversity on the table today. We have a lot of terrain, and you'll see a picture of that in a second. But uh, that's what we're looking at. Hammer and Amble, um, Relic, Big Guns Never Tire. We'll be right back and uh, with the Army Showcase. All right, uh, we got the Imperial Fist here. Uh, start out, like I said, with the Lysander here. This is my HQ running a company command squad loaded out with uh, plasma guns and uh, company champion. Right here I have three different attack squads, eight in each one of them with a plasma, a melta, and a plasma. Each one of the sergeants have a melta gun, or uh, I'm sorry, a melta bomb. Uh, the scouts here, I have two different squads here, one with a missile launcher, the other ones with just five uh, snipers. Four drop pods. The drop pod I have right here has a locator beacon on it. This drop pod here has the Deathwing missile launcher on it. I have two whirlwinds set up that I'll keep in the back. And, uh, that's the uh, Lysander Bolter Drill. We're going to the next army now. Hey guys, uh, here's my Raven Guard army. I've got Shrike uh, as my commander. I have a Vanguard squad that has uh, two um, power swords and two power axes. And they have uh, two guys that have melted bombs on them. For my troop selection, I've got two squads of five scouts with uh, bolters. And uh, they're in speeder storms back here. Then I have two uh, squads of jump troops, which are um, equipped with a power sword on the sergeant and a melt bomb, and two flamers, power sword and two flamers and a melt bomb. Same thing. Then I have a, uh, I have my thunderfire cannon uh, for long distance support, and I also have one fast attack speeder that has a heavy flamer and a heavy bolter um, for my fast attack choice, and that's my 1250 point army. All right, this is Scott, and this is my far sight list for the day. I've got a commander with two marker drones, a plasma rifle, a missile pod, the seismic filibrator node, shield generator, uh, and a drone controller. My troop choices are the required three-man team of crisis suits. Each has two plasma rifles and early warning overrides for interceptor. I have a solo crisis suit for a troop choice to round it out at two. He's got a plasma rifle and a missile pod. He also has early warning. I have two broadside teams, each of two, uh, with heavy rail rifles. There are three Seeker missiles, three sets of uh, Twin Link smart missile systems, and one plasma rifle, four missile drones, and my, this one has the advanced targeting system for sniping. 
I have one drone controller and two early one override in there. I have a hammerhead with long strike. Um, he's got sensor spines, a disruption pod, a flechette discharger, and smart missile systems. And then I have a riptide with an ion accelerator, twin link fusion blaster, uh, early warning override, and a counterfire defense system. And he also has the Earthcast pilot array for twin linking or rerolling ones when he shoots, actually. And then that's my list. All right, guys. Um, today I'm running the Thunder Wolf and Region Wolf lists. I have my Warlord with his um, Storm Shield and Thunder Hammer. He's got Saga of the Bear, another Wolf Lord, Twin Wolf Claws, um, Saga of the Warrior Born. His invulnerable save comes from a belt of rust. And my third Wolf Lord has a Frost Axe and a Storm Shield with Saga of the Wolfkin, putting all the Fenrisian Wolves and the one Cyberwolf behind him at Initiative 5 and Leadership 7. All three of the Thunderwolf Lords have um, Relic Armor, so they all have, or Runic Armor, so they all have their 2 plus Invul saves, or 2 plus Armor saves, and they have a 5 of <laughs> Invulnerable against Psychic Powers. My troop requirements today are filled with two squads of eight gray hunters, each with a wolf standard, mark of the wolfin, um, power, power swords, and melt -a guns So, that's the Space Wolves. Guys, what you're looking at is our deployment, the Imperial deployment. You have uh, my speeder here with the heavy flamer and the heavy bolter. Thunderfire cannon has bolstered the ruins. We've got a squad of, squad of scouts, camo cloaks in there. Uh, it is first turn night fight, so I went ahead and deployed these guys out in the open. Um, we've got quite a considerable distance to cover, and he's got rail rifles, and I'm not sure that'll uh, be as effective, even though he's got black sun filters. Um, I got this squad here. I've got I've combat squatted my Vanguard vets, which are back here in this deployment over here. They're deployed back here as backfield security. And that's basically one guy with a power axe and then uh, three of the normal dudes. The rest of the Vanguard squad and Shrike are up there infiltrated forward uh, to see what we can do. And then there's also a squad of scouts, sniper scouts in there. Uh, so that's our deployment. Now let's look forward over here what we've got. Logan has put together all his uh, wolves in one giant super pack right here. And then um, you've got two of the broadsides here with the rail rifles. And then you've got the Riptide and the Hammerhead back here. Looks like the Buff Commander or the Shooting Commander right there. With the two squads of uh, Wolves there and another couple of broadsides on the flank. In reserve, we have two squads of Scouts with their uh, Speeder Storms. We've got four Drop Pods with the rest of his army. And uh, pretty much that's it. So we're getting ready to see if we seize the initiative. Which I'll try right now. And no, not at all. It's it's the anti-initiative. It's the we're really gonna let you guys go first. You're number one. So all right, we'll come back with the end of round one in just a second. Tao's first turn of shooting ended up with a hammerhead striking their thunderfire cannon for one wound. Some marker lights removing the cover from scouts, but the shot veered and blasted away a raven guard. And two heavy rail rifles failed to hit their marks across the table. But my shooting was. The Space Wolves uh, moved up from behind the building into it, spaced themselves out because they have some large templates that Space Wolves don't like too much. The Wolf Brick moved up and spread out a little bit also because of large templates. And in the shooting phase, everything ran forward. Just giving them that extra little bit. All right, that was Space Wolf Tau turn one. Okay, uh, we're finished up round one here for the Fist and the Raven Guard, and we'll start down here. I had a drop pod come in here with uh, eight tactical troops with a melted gun, and they shot at this right here. Roll one, of course, the melted gun, so nothing happened there. Over here, I had the Sanders group come in, and uh, they scattered just a little bit, not much, but uh, came down right in front of this Riptide here. If you notice, it's laying down. For the first time ever, me ever playing this, 
I had four plasma guns in that group, and every single one of them hit, rolling no ones, and then every single one of them wounded. It was amazing. And I put it, put the Riptide down. So that's a big victory for uh, the Imperium right now. Now, when I did come in, his smart missiles came in and uh, ended up saving on everything. No, I lost one guy. I'm sorry. So what the total loss? If anything, it was a big win for us there. Uh, we'll come down right here now. Uh, I had my whirlwind come in and shoot up over here. There's a little group of uh, missing wolves now because they've been incinerated by missiles. And uh, I ended up doing the remove cover from the whirlwind and ended up killing uh, four of them, right? Yeah, four of them. And uh, had the snipers in here. They got on the relic. You probably can't see them from there. But they shot at uh, some uh, space wolves that were out there. I didn't do anything to them. The... Uh, other scouts I had, they were out of range. The night fighting's over with now, so that can either hurt us or help us right now because the towel's about to come down on us. But uh, that's all Imperial Fist had, so we're moving on to calling out for Raven Guard. Okay, what happened was Shrike and his crew were in here, uh, hunkered down for cover, and there was a squad of wolves right here. So we jumped out, there were five uh, vanguards. I lost one on the towel shooting phase, and then there were four vanguards. They hit that squad. And uh, I was able to wipe them out, um, pretty much seven of them. I killed seven. The other three broke from contact. I killed five of them. There's oh, only okay, eight yeah. in each unit. Eight in each unit. I killed five of them. The other three broke, and they're there. And then I consolidated into cover here. The other thing that happened is... Uh, come on, pan down this way. The other thing that happened was the Thunderfire Cannon was not in range to shoot anything because of night fight. But the speeder broke loose from cover and uh, sped up, and now it's sitting here. These guys ran to this position, and then these guys ran into this position right here. And one died. And one died impaling himself on a tree um, <laughs> for the greater good and all that stuff. Whoa! So, uh, <laughs> <For greater good. laughs> all right, so that's the end of round one. We're on to Tau round two. Scott with my second turn. Uh, my Tau did okay this time. My commander and his drones dropped a Raven Guard land speeder. My hammerhead failed to finish off the Thunderfire cannon. My broadside unit here fired on Shrike and his remaining units. I almost sniped Shrike with a heavy rail rifle, but he made a save. And this broadside unit dropped a tactical marine back in the backfield. All right, uh, Space Wolves, as you can see, this big wolf squad turned around and is now piled on top of Lysander, the lonely little Terminator. Lysander. Make a book about him. Lonely little Lysander. He's still um, standing, though. Just remember that. Not for long, he isn't. Um, then the squad over here, after sadly losing combat, made a comeback. Um, they moved out and shot Shrike. Shot Shrike to bits. He has one wound left. But he's still standing. And the squad over here took down two, uh, two other Vanguard vets. Space Wolf's not a big army, meaning that that is my turn. Poor the Emperor. Um, we had a good uh, finishing up round two there. The pure Imperium team of the Raven Guard Imperial Fist. We got back into it here. We uh, drop potted in right here. Had a bunch of guys come out and surround what you see, what used to be there, was the uh, skimmer of the towel. It has went kaboom. And uh, when that happened, that got us the rest of the points on top of killing their commander right here uh, for us to take blooded and slaying one of the warlords. So that, that worked out great for us. We got, ended up getting two points out of that. Um, so all, all this shit in here, they were just firing everything over there. Got sky fired by this over here. A little bit of whirlwinds come down here, killed some of these guys. Now what was interesting was, you notice there's a whole point missing on this uh, uh, land speeder storm. Well, the little scout missile launcher that I had, he he's not very good at shooting. <laughs> and he kind of deviated off and wounded one of my, my battle brothers. <laughs> so, uh, at that point, his uh, tech marine running the Thunderfire Cannon uh, decided to accidentally uh, miscoordinate by a few degrees and shot at some of my space marines. Uh, but I saved. So it's okay. Oh, I did lose one guy. Never mind, he did get his revenge. <laughs> but, um, rest of it down there is pretty boring. We still got the relic. We're running back with it. Uh, over here, just so uh, everybody sees, Lysander's still standing there. And there are a couple dead wolves, and uh, he, he got me down one more wound. I got one wound left, but uh, I've had the wolves tied up for a while now. 
the sander's a lot tougher than you think, most most people. So, but uh, that's the end of our round two. We're going into round three now. This is Scott uh, talking about turn three with the towel. We managed to pick off Shrike over there after uh, my hammerhead got out of the way, the hard way. Uh, we dropped a speeder on the far side and killed a scout. And I dropped in my crisis suit reserves, did a glancing hit on a whirlwind, and picked off six or seven uh, Raven Guards. Six. And that's the tower turn. All right, Space Wolf turn three. Um, we moved over, melted the other speeder. It went down. It blew up, actually. And over here, Lysander swiftly joined Shrike in the... Uh, <laughs> swiftly? Three rounds? Swiftly? <laughs> I know y'all hear that back here in the background. Y'all saw the video. Two, swiftly? two rounds, three turns. Two rounds solo, son. Remember that. <laughs> All right. Died, died on the first hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Logan talk smack. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that it? Um, yeah. Oh, you good. <laughs> and then they, and then the whole Super Wolf unit consolidated after that massive attack, that massive victory. And they're two inches. They were tired. <laughs> they were Just tired. remember this: is it still recording? No. Oh God. Yes. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> it took all of them to take down one Imperial Fist. Technically, it took two of them. them. Right. All right, so now we're moving on to our turn three, Imperial turn three. All right, guys, this is our turn three. And uh, what happened was, originally, the relic, which is held by the Imperial Fist running this way, was surrounded by some Raven Guards. The um, Crisis Suits jumped in and plasmaed a bunch of dudes. Well, this squad right here saw that and moved to assault. We shot them with a bunch of bolt pistols and uh, two flamers, and we killed one guy. Actually, I think you killed them with sniper fire, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, crack missile. Crack missile. So, then I assaulted and nerfed like no tomorrow. Um, but we're still locked up in combat, and they're not shooting anybody with their plasma, so that makes me happy. Um, over here, there was a crisis suit here by itself, and this right slip to the Vanguard squad, and the other three survivors shot them with bolt pistols and actually killed them with bolt pistols. So that worked out pretty well. Further down the table... I moved some Raven Guard guys into the terrain, and then Hinkle will tell you what happened here, but my Raven Guard scouts are just kind of chilling out. They come to watch. They come to watch. So what happened here was I actually had two squads break off over here to uh, get into melee with all these uh, great uh, space wolves that were up here. Uh, ended getting down. Uh, he got some good swings. I got some good ones, but I had too many squads up there, and he rolled like a bunch of twos and ones, so I killed all but his leader. And then he failed his leadership, but we stayed locked up for the initiative. Over here, I uh, shot some bolt pistols up at his uh, broadside and actually ended up killing it, just by the luck of the Emperor. But uh, when I went into assault, I rolled a three and failed on that. Uh, over here, my little uh, Deathwing missile, or whatever it is, launcher, fired at all the wolves that were in here and killed all but like one of them. So that was awesome to get my revenge that way for that. Uh, other than that, y'all, nothing else really happened. Uh, just shot some scouts like uh, Carl said earlier. But uh, now we're going in round four. All right, this is Scott with the fourth round for my towel. Um, only broadsides remain now. I managed to pick off some Imperial Fist in the back. I did no damage to the Raven Guard I was in combat with. And that's my turn. Actually, you lost to the combat. You, you lost to the Raven Guard. They ran you down. Yeah. Yep. I too am down to a specific type, and that would be my wolves. My troops were taken uh, out of the game, and so after this, I broke them up. They were shot off by the death wind last turn. That was terrible. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, this guy broke off and went that way. That was my warlord, and that's a lot of bolt pistols. Um, and these two took the one wolf with them and went for the other Imperial Fists, and the remaining Raven Guard on this side of the board. And the objective. So, that was Space Wolf and Tau, turn four. For Dorn. Alright guys, on this uh, round, this was all about consolidating what we had. So I moved a jump squad up here to oppose this Wolf Lord. And uh, we shot him with our rope pistols and our flamers and didn't cause any wounds. 
And then we charged in with our super duper hammer or wrath attacks and did nothing. And then our 29 bazillion um, regular attacks did nothing. And then uh, he swung back with like eight, um, how six, many? Six, six wounds. Six, six wounds <laughs> and uh, killed six guys. And I fell back. So there was some sheer craziness ensuing there. It was nuts. So uh, so that was that. We shot these guys up right here. My scouts lent in with the um, iron uh, or barrel pistol. The barrel fist. Fist. And uh, we shot at them with no effect. And uh, oh, no, we got some wounds on them. Over to Hinkle. No, that was my uh, that was my dangerous terrain. Uh, I wounded you. Oh yeah, that's right with the melt. That's up. right. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we'll start over here in the corner. All right. So I went over here to assault uh, the other broadside, which he did kill one of mine on the uh, Overwatch. But then uh, I whiffed on the uh, assault pretty bad. So uh, that sucked there. I had my uh, Deathwing missile launcher shoot up here. Didn't he? He made a save on that, or didn't even wound him one of the two. Had all these fire over here. Had all these guys fire in here. Caused like a wound. There's like a wound on both of these guys. One no, the guy already had his wound. Okay, well I got one wound on him. After every single one was fired, we got one wound on the whole thing. So that weird. doesn't count the thun Thunderfire, the thunder yeah. fire, the whirlwind, the scouts. Well, the whirlwind didn't fire at them. Whirlwind fired him. Both of them. No, yeah. the other one didn't fire at nobody. Hmm. One fired. Yeah. So we get over here. Whirlwind fired at him. Didn't do anything. Keep on going. The scouts are over here behind this, carrying the relic. And uh, the snipers fired and didn't do a whole lot either. Uh, there we go. We're going into round five now. Alright, turn five for the Tau Space Wolf team up. Uh, my broadsides failed to pick off the two Raven Guard in the way of the Thunder Wolf. And this broadside still tied up in combat. He's lost a wound, but otherwise is holding off the Space Marines pretty well. Um. Well, the guy back here took out the two, the two Raven Guard jump troops that couldn't be killed by the Tau, just bad shots. So he took him out with this Thunder Hammer of Doom. Um, well, that was the best thing ever. I just want to, I just want to say that that last turn where they didn't take wounds <laughs> Moving was on. just funny. I'm sorry, that was just ahead. Over here, they they both assault both the. Uh, both the Wolf Lords and the Fenrisian Wolf assaulted the two units of Imperial Fist that were there, and they killed them and took no wounds. So that was that was turn five. <laughs> all right, how come after after getting your buff with now you're all like dramatic? That was turn five. You sound like Shatner, dude. <laughs> Victory! Woo! The uh, Raven Guard and the uh, Imperial Fists have knocked it out yet again. Um, you know, even though Shrek is no longer with us. Uh, Arlo Sander. Arlo Sander, but, you know, the rest of the chapter will carry on in the Emperor's name. Well, what it is is they believe in dying for the Emperor instead of just joining forces of the town not to be killed. No, <laughs> yeah, but look who's still on the board. We are. <laughs> Thanks for making that obvious. Oh, <laughs> there it is! <laughs> the person jumping. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, no. Thanks for bringing that up to the, uh, the all the wolf lords with their all three of them with their uh, not you guys inflicted wounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the reason why I'm grimacing so bad is not because of the horrible commentary from behind the camera, <laughs> but because I just bit into an ash flavored jelly bean provided by Eagle. <laughs> I don't even know where this thing's coming from, dude. But I did not realize that well, ass flavor was even on the bag. They're, they're off-brand Jelly Bellies. Oh my god. They're like $2 off. It's like burnt coffee. That's what I've had? Oh god. Anyway, it was a good game, but uh, we won. Victory for the Imperium. It was like 10 to 2 or something? Yeah, and we're using the... Um, Fair up. Very open format, so basically we ended up with full 10 points, they got 2 points, and uh, that's how it worked out. So, let me go wash my tongue off with some Ajax, <laughs> and then we'll be right back with our clothes. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that battle report from uh, South Mississippi Gamers, and uh, forming the 19th Legion. Woo! So, uh, stay tuned, you know, we'll be doing some more of these battle reports soon, as, you know, we get back into playing more. Last words? Oh, well, go with y'all two first. Uh, Scott, this is your first one when you've done with this. What do you think? Uh, I liked it. I need to finish painting up my own town instead of borrowing Carl's. My dice continue to hate me. I rolled a lot of ones. And my commander survived. I'm happy about that, but otherwise...
Well, there was one thing I noticed about your dodge one day. You didn't do as bad, and I think that's because of painted models. Ah. Goes back to the theory that I've said before: the painted models, Emperor and the Dice Gods. Bless you with that. I have played worse. I have rolled, I've rolled worse, actually. So true. And Logan, this uh, first time in a while you've been back. Yeah. Just gotta say there are HQs left on the board, but all three of them are Space Wolves. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still lost. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, just that. But uh, yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great game, everybody. Uh, appreciate everyone coming out for the battle report today. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be kicking it up more again this year, getting some more battle reports out. We had a little bit of a short hiatus. Um, we've been busy uh, getting things ready at uh, Nard Gaming. We have an upcoming event at Coast, uh, Coast Con. So we've been busy, busy building up terrain and getting everybody's armies ready for that. That's going to be March 8th at the Biloxi Coliseum. Uh, actually at the Quality Inn next door to it on March 8th. Uh, so y'all check us out on Facebook uh, or on the forums. We'll have the info on there and how you can sign up for that. Um, don't forget to check us out on the podcast. We're going to have some more podcasts coming up. I know we've had a you coming up on the, the role playing side, we're gonna add some more Warhammer ones to it as well. And uh, something we're gonna be adding to it in the next month or two is some War Machine battle reports. So, uh, y'all out there that are fans of that, you know, stay tuned for that. And let me see what else. Uh, comments. Tell me uh, some things y'all want to see. We haven't really seen a whole lot of uh, good battle reports right now coming out. If you see something y'all want us to improve on, let us know in the comments below. So, and remember, friends don't let friends eat ash flavored jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is Ankle and uh, Carl from South Mississippi Gamers. We're signing out.